All right, Polycarbon Games here, and we're here to show you a really cool asset from the Unity Asset Store, which is this water shader here made for Unity HDRP. As you can see here, it's very detailed, uh, very high quality, and it's really good for anyone who's trying to make a game where it requires an ocean, beach, if you're making a water game or like a pirate game. Uh, this water shader here just works right out of the box. It is from the Unity Asset Store, and uh, it is called the... KWS water system and uh, I'll leave a link to this below here and you can check it out for yourselves after you purchased it from the unity asset store you want to go to window and you want to go to package manager you want to type in uh, the name of your asset if it doesn't pop up just make sure you check box my assets and then go ahead and type that in once you type it in go ahead and click on it and go to download I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to re-download again. Once you download it, then go to import. All right, so I went ahead and created a brand new scene. Now I'm using Unity HDRP 2020.326F1 for those of you who are just wondering. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a terrain. We're gonna go to game object, 3D object, and we're just gonna go to terrain. And we're just gonna create a flat terrain just like that here. And we're gonna create some land, some couple of hills here, so the, so the water can uh, kind of uh, kind of brush against the hills. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just raise this terrain. And let's go ahead and lower this brush. Maybe about right, something like that. Let's see. What, okay, cool. This is good enough. And we're just gonna create, you know, just a kind of like a, I guess, a valley or something like that. Uh, just so next we're going to go ahead and go to our hierarchy here we're going to click right click and we're going to go to effects and we're going to go to the water system and there we are so it looks like we have like a endless uh ocean here so let's go ahead and uh go to our transform here and let's uh let's lower that a bit here so we're going to go do that with the y-axis not too bad here still a little bit too high so I'm gonna lower it a little bit more it's about maybe about right there and there's our uh, a little demo ocean here now the water system has a lot of effects here so let's go ahead and play around with these guys and see what kind of cool water effects we can uh, we can do here all right so if you click on the water system and then go to your inspector, we have a range of options here that we can use or play around with. And I haven't played around with all of these yet, so this would be um, new to me. So let's go ahead and start with the color settings here. So here, I guess we can change the water, make it like, you know, crystal clear here, or we can make it like, you know, a nice murky color here as well. I mean, murky trans uh, transparency here as well. It's really cool. Obviously, this is the water color, so you can change the water color to whatever you want. Let's say we want to, let's make like a little toxic dump type of like feel here. And then we change this right here. Good old muddy, toxic, dirty water, diarrhea looking water there. All right. Show the control Z, go back to our blue. All right, cool. Now let's move on to waves here. So this should be pretty fun. Uh, we get to play around with the wave. So let's go over here. We can see the kind of wave brush up against the land here. So we have wave size. So we have a uh, wave size. We got 32, 32 bit all the way up to 512. Uh, so my guess is that this has something to do with like the quality. So the higher the detail means the better wave quality, but the worse performance. All right. So this is just in case you want to be high quality waves or low quality wave waves here. So you can see the difference here. 64. 128, 512, I'm sorry, 256, and 512. Let's keep it at 512 for now. All right, wind speed. Wow, look at that. Look at that ocean. Ooh, I mean, this is a lake. Why did I call it an ocean? So as you can see here, we got a little bit more action and chaos here in the waves here. This is perfect for anyone who's making like an game that requires an ocean and lots of water and some waves here very cool you can play around with the rotation 
so my guess is that this kind of like kind of rotates it a little bit or gives it a feeling of a rotation. We got turbulence. So you can control the turbulence here as well and the time scale. So my guess is how fast the water is moving. So if you want to move it fast, bump it up to the highs. If you want it slow moving, like a slow motion, then we'll put the time scale all the way low. So this is really cool. I like this. Let's see if we, what happens if we bump this up to the highest? Oh, wow. Look at these waves here. So you could literally create the interstellar scene here. You know, when the giant waves is coming up, it's almost as if there's like a rogue wave in here, like a stormy wave type of scene here. Absolutely beautiful. Now if we turn up the, uh, the speed, oh yeah, this looks absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. What an awesome asset. All right, so we'll keep it right here like this. Uh, we'll go back to the shore. We'll, we'll turn down the wind speed a bit. And let's mess around with some other dials. So here's one of the demo scenes here. Uh, let's check out this boat. Looking pretty good. Um, let's, uh, let's, ruin the, uh, let's ruin their day. We'll turn up the waves here. Oh yeah, they don't like this at all. We'll turn up the rotation. Wind turbulence. Oh yeah, it's definitely not a good time for these uh, these pirates here. Lots of high waves. Oh wow, kind of scary here. Here, let's turn it up. Turn it up some more. We'll, we'll turn up the time scale. We'll make it really, really bad for these guys. Oh man, we, they've taken water on deck. Wow, wow. Yep. So this goes to show you how good the KWS water shader is, especially if you're trying to make like an ocean environment. All right, so we got reflection here. So this is green space reflection. Uh, I'm not too sure what this actually does, but I'm guessing it's just um, your cube map and how it's reflecting, you know, the you know the cube map that you have in your current scene. Here. So let's go ahead and play around with this. Wow, milk! <laughs> it is literally a sea of milk. <laughs> All right, well, that's because we have no reflection on here. So since there's no reflection, uh, we just get a sea of milk. So we're gonna turn that back the reflection up. Okay, so let's scroll down to underwater here and uh, let's check it out. So you can turn on the blur effect to make it feel like you're actually on the water or you can check box that off. You can change the radius of the blur effect, make it super blurry or not too blurry as, as well. And this, like I said, it's depending on your game. You can also make this a infinite ocean, as you can see here. If you go down to mesh, it's infinite ocean. You got finite box, where it will actually be finite. I'm not sure where it went off to. There we are, a little finite box there. All right, so let's go um, to shoreline, and we're gonna add a little shoreline. What that does is create waves onto your shore. So we're gonna click that box there. And what it'll do is it'll create a shoreline um, volume. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll set that to, uh, let's set that to high. So it'll look uh, nice. We're going to go to edit mode and we're going to go to add wave. And there's our wave right there, our wave volume. So let's go ahead and pop, plop it up on a shore. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on this where over here. So you notice that wherever the volume is, you get like a shoreline. So it's so you can kind of see it propped up on the uh, on the mesh right here. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll add a, a quick texture here so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so here's a better view of the volume in action here. I just added some texture, and you can see um, the water running up against the uh, up against this hill up here right there. If you want to check out their demo, once you import it, just go to Crypto FX, go to demo, go to scenes, and then you can check out one of their scenes that they have here. So overall, I really do like this asset. It's totally worth it. I'll leave a link in the description below to this asset on the Unity Asset Store so you can try it out for yourself. 
And also, I would love to see you guys' creations as well. So if you're an environment artist or an artist and want to show off your work, join our Discord and show it off there. Also, we're also considering doing contests as well for Unity environment artists and artists. So if you're interested in that, uh, leave us a comment below and join our Discord and let me know and we can uh, arrange that as well. Like I said, if you want to check out you know, more stuff from us, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.